Understanding Antibody Drug Conjugates. Antibody drug conjugates, or ADCs, are used for the treatment of certain cancers. ADCs help make it possible to deliver chemotherapy directly to cancer cells. Traditional chemotherapy is usually delivered throughout the body. Because chemotherapy can destroy cells that are actively growing, it is used to treat many types of cancers. But there are healthy cells in the body that are always actively growing too, like the cells that make up hair follicles, infection-fighting white blood cells, and cells lining the digestive tract. As these cells are damaged, it causes the various side effects that may occur with traditional chemotherapy drugs. Monoclonal antibodies are another type of cancer treatment. Some monoclonal antibodies are designed to locate and bind to specific kinds of receptors, sometimes called biomarkers, that are found mainly on the surface of certain types of cancer cells. The aim is to destroy the cancer cells and limit the impact to healthy cells. Antibody drug conjugates combine the precise binding of monoclonal antibodies with the cancer-killing ability of chemotherapy. With ADCs, a potent type of chemotherapy, or chemo, is attached to a monoclonal antibody that helps direct the chemo to the tumor cell. The chemotherapy is attached using a linker that prevents the chemo from releasing until it reaches its destination. The antibody component seeks out a specific type of receptor that is mainly seen on whatever type of cancer cells are being targeted. When the antibody fastens itself to this receptor, the cell pulls the ADC inside. There, the chemotherapy is released to destroy the tumor cell. With some ADCs, the chemo component may also travel to and destroy neighboring cells. Regardless of whether these cells have the specific receptor, the so-called bystander effect. This is especially important in tumors where some of the cancer cells don't have the target receptor. Like other cancer treatments, ADCs can cause side effects. Common side effects of ADCs include hair loss, low blood cell counts, fever, inflammation of the lining of the mouth and gut, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, blurred vision, numbness and nerve damage to the limbs, and more rare but serious scarring of lung tissue. And each ADC has its own side effects. Speak with your doctor to learn the side effects of any treatments prescribed for your cancer. Since the year 2000, a number of ADCs have been approved for use by government regulatory authorities, targeting many different receptors found on various types of cancer cells. You and your doctor are a team in your care. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice. Talk with your doctor to learn more about your disease and treatment.